Welcome to Killer PHP. My name is Stefan Mischuk, and in this video tutorial, we're going to create our own custom PHP functions. I'm assuming for this video that you've done my previous videos on functions where I cover some of the basic concepts, things like arguments and returning values and so forth. If you haven't done those, you should because it will make understanding this video much easier. I've divided this video into four basic sections. So uh, with the idea of, of making it easier for you to follow along, the first part, we're actually going to jump right in and create our very first custom functions and learn about the function keyword and the basic structure in terms of code when building your own custom function. Part two, we're going to learn how to return values from a function. Part three, we're going to learn how to create a function that can accept arguments and then use those arguments within the function. And in part four, we're going to use conditional statements within a function, an if statement, and learn how we can return optional return values based on the conditional. Again, if any of this seems unclear to you, don't worry. Once the video is finished, you'll find that it's actually quite easy. Let's jump right in and create our very first custom function. Once again, I'm just going to use Dreamweaver because I assume most of you are web designers. So this is what most web designers use, although you can use, again, you can use any text editor that you want, or you can just use Notepad. So functions always start off with the keyword function. This basically tells PHP that we're creating a function. And uh, we're going to call this function footer. And we put the curly bracket. So here's the basic structure of a function. You have the, the keyword function. You have the name of the function followed by your brackets. And then you have your set of curly brackets. It's uh, a very, this is actually a pretty standard uh, layout for so many things in PHP. So I think you're probably getting familiar with it. Essentially, whatever code you put in between these two uh, curly brackets is your function code. Now that we have the basic structure of the function in place, let's actually get the function to do something. So for the sake of this video, we're just going to do something very, very easy. Now, hello world is a uh, the old nerd uh, first programming trick or I don't know what, how you call it. It's the first thing that they teach progr uh, programmers to do when they're learning to program is how to get the uh, programming language to say hello world. So here we go. We're saying hello world. So uh, let's actually view that page and see what happens. So I've uh, loaded up the page in uh, our browser and we hit the refresh and of course nothing happens and nothing happened because we didn't tell PHP to actually do anything. Well, yeah, we didn't. We, we created a function, but we did not instruct PHP to actually use a function. You can think of as, as code in a function as code in reserve. It's sort of waiting there to be used. So until you explicitly tell PHP to use it, the code will not be processed. That's what's different than if I just said echo out, if I just, uh, excuse me, wrote echo hello world in the in the script without outside the function, PHP, of course, would print it out right away. But with functions, you have to basically tell PHP to actually use the function. So we've covered that in a previous video, and we're just going to use a function here. So let's go here. And uh, being a lazy guy that I am, I'll just tell Dreamweaver to create my code block. And what we're going to do, we're just going to call the function. And we've learned in our previous video to call a function means when you call means to use a function. All you have to do is state the function name. And that's it. So now let's, we save this, let's refresh our page. And hello world appears.
So that's pretty simple. Let's look at one of the first advantages that you have when you use functions, because right now it doesn't seem like there's any advantage. So let's add tons of hello worlds to our function. And we'll save that. So you notice how much space all this function code takes. Meanwhile, our call to the function is rather it's rather simple. It's just one line. So it's again, we'll view the page, and we're going to see a bunch of hello worlds. So the first rule that we learn about function, the first advantage rather, is that functions can help you encapsulate a lot of code, and which will make your code in your pages a lot cleaner. Encapsulate meaning that the code, all this code here, is encapsulated, is wrapped up inside of the, of the function footer that we created. So typically, when you're actually doing your PHP code, what you want to do for real projects, you probably want to stick your, your function, all your function code inside a separate file, and then you would call, then you would include that file, and I'll show you how to do that later, inside your PHP pages that people actually see. This way, your pages with all your HTML and your CSS and so forth is very clean, free of all kinds of excess PHP code. Think of it as in much the same way as you, as you link to CSS files, external CSS files, so that you can reuse the same CSS code on many, many different pages. That's one advantage of a function.